One of Beverly Hills' greatest secret treasures is hidden just a couple of blocks north of the Beverly Hills Hotel. It's known as the Virginia Robinson Gardens, and it was our very first estate built here in Beverly Hills. And it serves as a perfect time machine of what we were like a hundred years ago. Best part, it's open to the public. The Robinsons came here as children uh, at the turn of last century with their families. I think they were four and five years old. Uh, they played together as children and later in life married. The story goes they were on their way to the newly opened Los Angeles Country Club on Wilshire Boulevard. They literally got lost and, and, and getting lost they ended up on top of this knoll. We're about 450 feet above sea level with tremendous views to both the Pacific Ocean and Catalina Island, as well as uh, San Gabriel Mountains, the San Bernardino Mountains, and on a very exceptionally clear day, all the way to Palm Springs. So that's 1911 and predates the city of Beverly Hills by three years. There wasn't a single tree on the property when they purchased this property. It was barren, had been grazed by first cattle, secondly sheep. This is the main entrance to the house, and this is where you can get a good feel for the style of the architecture, which is the Bulls Arts style. It has the uh, double Tuscan columns and the parapet at the top with the urns. Those are all characteristic, you know, architectural elements. So the house is actually, it's 6,000 square feet, which it's not a large house, certainly by today's standards, but they appreciated the outdoors um, the most, and they lived outdoors, and that's why all these terraces are furnished, and you can sit, and they would oftentimes play bridge outside. They love plants, and when they traveled, uh, typically they'd bring with them a plantsman. His name was Mr. Rhodes, and this gentleman had the uh, the job of sourcing rare and unusual plants when they traveled the world and then having those shipped back here uh, so they could grow them and experiment on their estate. The, the biggest compliment we ever get is when people visit the gardens and say to us, it feels like the Robinsons could come home at any time. People come here and they'll look at the great lawn and they'll say, uh, well, how do you get a lawn to look like this? Uh, and we'll say, well, you have to wait about 100 years. When you arrive here, you get a docent-led tour with somebody that's very knowledgeable about the history of the property, the plants that you're looking at, the artifacts you're looking at in the house. So you leave here with a sensibility of what it was like to live in an early 20th century estate in Southern California.